y'all? It's your girl Tia with the T and I'm back with another video. And as y'all can see by the title, we are going to be making candy grapes. Well, candy crack grapes. I got your girl Lily in the building. Um, y'all go follow their channel. Um, I'll link that down in the description box below so y'all can go follow them, support them. They're going to be making more videos. But yeah, so I've been seeing candy crack grapes everywhere around. So we're going to be doing grapes, strawberries, and blueberries. So stay tuned for the video. We're going to give y'all a walkthrough step by step of how we make them. This is our first time tasting them and making them. So that's it. So stay tuned, y'all. All right, y'all. So you're going to need two cups of sugar. You're going to need a half a cup of water. And I did forget to record me putting the sugar inside of the pot, but it's okay. I just forgot. So you're going to set your stove to number five or six. So that'll be in between medium high, I guess. And you're going to need some Cairo syrup. And you're going to need a half a cup of Cairo syrup. It really don't smell like nothing. We were smelling it to see if it smelled like something, but it really don't have a smell or a taste for some reason, which is kind of weird. And once you add your Cairo syrup, you're just going to wait until it starts to boil. I did stir just a little bit, but I didn't want to stir too much. You're also going to need a thermometer. I didn't have a candy thermometer. This is a, I guess, a meat thermometer. As long as the thermometer is between 280 degrees and 300 or even higher so you can read the thermometer properly, it just needs to be higher than 300 basically. Also, another way to know if your candy mixture is ready is when the bubbles begin to slow down. So the next step is you're going to need some gel food coloring and you can use any color gel food coloring that you like. Um, I'm not too sure how the liquid food coloring would work, but I mean, this is gel, so hopefully it should be able to mix in with the candy properly. So I can't speak on the other food coloring types. I'm going to do two colors. So my first color will be pink and my other color is going to be blue. I'm going to put pink in the pot that I'm pouring in right now. And then the remaining of the candy mixture in the pot, I will be adding blue to that. So this was kind of a bad idea to mix them separately because the pink coloring did get stiff a bit faster. So you have to work extremely fast when you're doing this. Otherwise, the candy mixture is going to harden and you're going to have a complete mess. So with that being said, just move very fast. So this is the color that it came out. And it's in between like a pink and a red color. So I would say more on the fuchsia side. So now I'm going to add the blue to the leftover uh, mixture that's inside of the pot. And this blue is a deep, deep royal blue. So I've seen so many different recipes and so many different videos on YouTube, especially online on how to make these grapes. But I just used the regular recipe, two cups of sugar, a half a cup of Cairo syrup, a half a cup of water. And then, of course, you stir everything together and then add your food coloring. I didn't add any flavoring because, of course, we already added the sugar. And here are the Jolly Ranchers. And then we blended them up. And now it's time to dip. That's just how fast we were moving. So we're dipping in at an angle. Letting the excess fall off, and then we're going to coat with the Jolly Rancher mixture, which was just blended in the blender. And that is exactly how it looks. Pretty vibrant. We're going to go in again with another grape. And this smells so good, y'all. Like, the entire house just smelled like candy. All right, y'all. So, me and Lily are going to finish coating the rest off camera, and we'll be back to tell y'all exactly how they taste. So we back, y'all. She burned. I, I burned my, my finger. I'm stressing you hot. And I mean, I don't burnt like I don't burnt my finger. Like it's gonna go through the ugly, nasty stages too. But we got some grapes and strawberries. You didn't finish off a lot of them. 
because after 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 I got burnt, it was just over with. Like it was just done with, y'all. Just to give y'all a close up. All right, so we're gonna go back to the same time. We're gonna yeah, taste a grape or strawberry first. What do you I want one that's nicely coated. I want that one. I want that one either. This one's sweet. Mm. I want the rocks. Oh. Alright, this one to do. I'm going to do this one. Cheers. One, two, three, go. One, five. Oh, that's good. I got a critique of too many cold. But it's handy. But the grapes in the grapes. I don't want them too cold. I don't want them frozen. Okay. This was stuck in my teeth. Yeah. Alright, I'm gonna test strawberry. I want a little one. I want a big one. Mm. This one's. Let me take that one. Who said I wanted this one? What? You too late. Alright, strawberry. I like it. Got a lot going on. What you mean? With the king. I think I like the grapes better. I think I like the grapes better. That wasn't bad. No. Was it worth it? No. This is like the little kid. Oh. Alright, I'm gonna taste this one. It wasn't worth the, worth the... The work. Oh, yeah. Pretty good. I like how the strawberry is sweet. And the candy just right around it. Oh, don't you like the strawberries? I don't know, the grapes is like a burst, like a... Drop your comments down below. Click that bell to be notified. And that's it. Love you. Hey, Bye, y'all. You see, this is why the videos take forever to get edited and done. Because I'm down here looking cute. <laughs>